Piers Morgan had been watching BBC war correspondent Jeremy Bowen's report of civilians fleeing an embattled town and W of Kiev and feeling horrified by the graphic images he saw. Enclosing a link to the YouTube channel where it was repeated, he branded the video a stunningly powerful report. What kind of depraved monster deliberately attacks women and children as they try to escape a war zone? Piers asked incredulously. He added to his 7.9 million followers, Putin's pure evil. That was the view of war veterans interviewed on the segment, who communicated their distress that Ukrainian civilians were dying for no reason. Despite being just 3 minutes and 45 seconds long, the impact of the footage was clear, and harrowing scenes of war trauma were constant. Among the report's horrifying imagery was video footage of a mother, father and two children lying dead in the road, killed instantly by a shelling explosion. They had been so close to reaching safety, among the groups of women and children hauling suitcases around in a bid to escape their war-torn town. Buildings burst into flames, while citizens shouted helplessly, mourning their loss. Jeremy pointed out that civilians are supposed to be protected from the effects of war, but the footage showed that, for many, protection is all but impossible. Residents of the town, including the elderly limping their way towards a safer future, walked away from scenes which included the destruction of a bridge, while a smashed-up car could be seen in ruins beneath it. One man hobbled along on crutches as fast as he could to escape the terror. Meanwhile, a disabled man incapable of walking had to be carried by three other civilians. There's a fair amount of incoming fire, Jeremy explained while spreading out as close to the ground as possible amid the sound of nearby shelling. An 85-year-old veteran of the Soviet Army, who had previously served for decades, was visibly trembling as he furiously told the cameras, it'd tear those fascists to pieces. He added, they're killing people for no reason, that's what's really painful. Jeremy then warned, if, the Russian army, can build up full momentum, there will be many days worse than this. Messages of sympathy over the plight of Ukrainians flooded onto Piers' comments section. At Donahue underscore DM lamented, the young girl interviewed towards the end is about the same age as my daughter. There must be more our governments can do. Preeti Patel has given a statement detailing her intention to allow those who require refugee visas to receive them, regardless of their family ties to the UK, whereas the current rules allow only those with family members residing in Britain to relocate here. However, progress may not be as fast as is hoped, and so far just 50 Ukrainians out of the 1.3 million who have fled the country have been granted visas. Twitter user Andrew White questioned, what kind of people sit back and watch it happen and do nothing? We promise Ukraine we would protect them but have left them to be slaughtered. Time NATO steps up to the plate. What's the point in anything if we as a country can't stand by our word?